In this video, I thought we'd look at a quick application of the difference of two squares. Now, quite typically in any of your algebra courses, you'll have seen that given any two numbers, if we multiply a minus b times a plus b, then this will equal to a squared minus b squared. And this is known as the difference of two squares. Now, I've often been asked, what do we use this for? What's the point? Well, on top of a few applications uh, that we'll see later on in algebra and in functions and all the rest, which we'll see that it's going to allow us to simplify quite a few expressions. Looking at much simpler applications than that, it's often just very useful to make rather complicated multiplications, or should I say long multiplications, into much simpler ones. Let's look at a quick example. If I were to ask you to calculate 18 times 22, now I'm sure that you can all calculate this using multiplication, long multiplication. But another way of looking at this is to think of 18 as being, if I look at 18 as being equal to 20 minus 2, and if I think of 22 as being 20 plus 2, then I can say that 18 times 22 is equal to 20 minus 2 times 20 plus 2. And now, using the fact that a minus b times a plus b equals to a squared minus b squared, I can write this. 20 minus 2 times 20 plus 2 equals to 20 squared minus 2 squared. This, in turn, leads us to 20 squared, which is 400, minus 2 squared, which is 4. And so we find our answer very quickly, which is 396. Now, of course, we could have found the same answer with long multiplication, but you can see, and I'm sure you can appreciate, that it's much faster to calculate 18 times 22 using this method. Let's just look at a second example to let that soak in. Let's say, for argument's sake, that we had to calculate 99 times 101. Well, again, we can see that we, this can be written as 100 minus 1, times 100 plus 1. And again, we can use the fact that we know that the difference of two squares is equal to a minus b times a plus b. So in this case, we can write 100 minus 1 times 100 plus 1 has to be equal to 100 squared minus 1 squared. Now, 100 squared is equal to 10,000, and 1 squared is just equal to 1. And so we quickly see that this answer is going to be 9,999. And there we go. 99 times 101 is equal to 9,999.